In a world filled with distractions, finding lasting joy can feel like an impossible task. We chase fleeting pleasures only to be left wanting more. But there is a better way, a path to joy that is both profound and attainable. This path was illuminated centuries ago by a Roman emperor named Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius was a Stoic philosopher who believed that true joy comes not from external circumstances, but from within. He taught that by aligning ourselves with nature and fulfilling our duty as human beings, we can experience a deep and abiding sense of peace and contentment. This philosophy, known as Stoicism, offers timeless wisdom that is as relevant today as it was in ancient Rome. At the heart of Stoicism lies the concept of proper human work. This essay will delve into the four key components of proper human work, as outlined by Marcus Aurelius, acts of kindness, sensory control, truth discernment, and nature contemplation. Join us as we embark on a journey to discover the timeless wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and unlock the secrets to living joyfully. Marcus Aurelius believed that we are all born with a specific purpose, a role to play in the grand tapestry of life. This purpose is not defined by our social status, wealth or achievements, but by our inherent nature as rational and social beings. Our duty, therefore, is to live in accordance with this nature, to cultivate our virtues and to contribute to the well-being of others. The first component of proper human work is acts of kindness. When we show kindness to others, we are not only bringing joy into their lives, but also cultivating a sense of compassion and interconnectedness within ourselves. Every act of kindness, no matter how small, has the power to create a ripple effect of positivity that extends far beyond the immediate moment. The second component is sensory control. Our senses are constantly bombarded with stimuli pulling us in different directions and often leading us astray. By learning to master our senses, we gain greater control over our thoughts, emotions and actions. This mastery allows us to experience the world with greater clarity and to appreciate the simple joys that life has to offer. The third component is truth discernment. In a world awash in information, it can be difficult to distinguish truth from falsehood. By developing our ability to discern truth, we free ourselves from the shackles of ignorance and empower ourselves to make wise decisions. Finally, proper human work involves nature contemplation. Imagine a stone being dropped into a still pond. The impact creates ripples that spread outward, reaching every corner of the pond. Acts of kindness have a similar effect, creating ripples of joy that extend far beyond the initial act. When we show kindness to others, we not only brighten their day, but also inspire them to pay it forward, creating a chain reaction of positivity. Kindness doesn't have to be grand gestures or heroic acts. It can be as simple as offering a genuine compliment, lending a listening ear, or holding the door open for a stranger. These small acts of kindness, though seemingly insignificant, can have a profound impact on the lives of others. Consider the story of a young woman who was having a particularly difficult day. Feeling overwhelmed and defeated, she decided to take a walk in the park. As she sat on a bench, lost in her thoughts, an elderly man approached her and offered her a flower. When we make a conscious effort to incorporate acts of kindness into our daily lives, we transform not only the lives of others, but also our own. Our senses are powerful tools, but they can also be our downfall. They are constantly bombarded with stimuli, vying for our attention and often leading us astray. We become slaves to our desires, chasing fleeting pleasures that ultimately leave us feeling empty and unfulfilled. To find lasting joy, we must learn to master our senses 
to distinguish between what is truly important and what is simply a distraction. This doesn't mean denying our senses or living a life devoid of pleasure. Rather, it's about finding a balance, about enjoying the pleasures of life without allowing them to control us. Imagine yourself at a bustling market, surrounded by sights, sounds and smells. You're tempted to indulge in every delicious treat, to buy every trinket that catches your eye. But by practicing sensory control, you're able to appreciate the vibrant atmosphere without feeling overwhelmed. Sensory control extends beyond our physical senses. Section 5. Seeking Truth. The Joy of Clarity. In an age of information overload, it's easy to feel lost in a sea of conflicting opinions and beliefs. We're bombarded with news, social media updates and advertisements, all vying for our attention and shaping our perceptions of the world. It's no wonder that many people feel a sense of anxiety and uncertainty, unsure of what to believe or who to trust. Marcus Aurelius recognised the importance of seeking truth in a world often shrouded in deception. He believed that by cultivating our ability to think critically, to question our assumptions, and to discern truth from falsehood, we could free ourselves from the shackles of ignorance and make wiser decisions. Imagine yourself as a detective, carefully examining the evidence before forming a conclusion. You don't blindly accept everything you hear or read, but instead you approach information with a healthy dose of skepticism. You seek out multiple perspectives, consider the source of the information, and look for logical fallacies. Seeking truth is not always easy, but the rewards are well worth the effort. Section 6. Nature's Embrace. A source of pure joy. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's easy to become disconnected from the natural world. We spend our days surrounded by concrete and technology, our minds racing with to-do lists and deadlines. But nature offers us a much needed respite, a chance to reconnect with something larger than ourselves and tap into a source of pure joy. Marcus Aurelius was an ardent observer of nature, finding solace and wisdom in its rhythms and cycles. He believed that by spending time in nature, we could gain a fresh perspective on our own lives, cultivate a sense of gratitude and tap into a wellspring of tranquility and peace. Imagine yourself walking through a forest, the sunlight filtering through the trees, the air filled with the scent of pine needles and damp earth. As you breathe in the fresh air, you feel your stress melt away, replaced by a sense of calm and contentment. Section 7. Still relevant today. Centuries after Marcus Aurelius penned his meditations, his words continue to resonate with people from all walks of life. The principles of Stoicism, once embraced by Roman emperors and philosophers, have found new relevance in our modern world, offering guidance and solace to those seeking to navigate the complexities of life with grace and resilience. In an age of anxiety, uncertainty and constant distraction, Stoicism offers a framework for living with purpose, finding joy in the present moment and facing challenges with courage and equanimity. It reminds us that true happiness lies not in external circumstances, but in our own thoughts, actions and reactions to the world around us. The principles of proper human work, acts of kindness, sensory control, truth discernment and nature contemplation are as relevant today as they were in ancient Rome. They provide a roadmap for living a more meaningful and fulfilling life. One that is grounded in virtue, wisdom and a deep connection to ourselves and the world around us. Whether you're a seasoned philosopher or a curious newcomer, the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius 
offers timeless insights into the human condition and the keys to unlocking a life filled with joy, meaning and purpose. Section 8. Finding Strength in Stoicism A Modern Tale The enduring relevance of Stoicism is perhaps best illustrated through the stories of those who have found solace and strength in its teachings. Consider the story of a young entrepreneur named Sarah, whose promising tech startup faced unexpected setbacks and threatened to crumble under the weight of mounting pressure. Overwhelmed by anxiety and on the verge of burnout, Sarah stumbled upon the writings of Marcus Aurelius. His words, though centuries old, resonated deeply with her own struggles. She was particularly drawn to the Stoic principles of focusing on what we can control, accepting what we cannot, and finding opportunity for growth in every challenge. Inspired by Aurelius' teachings, Sarah began to incorporate Stoic practices into her daily life. She started each day with a few moments of mindfulness, focusing on her breath and setting an intention to approach whatever the day may bring with calmness and clarity. Section 9. From Adversity to Serenity embracing Stoic principles. Sarah's story is not unique. Countless individuals from all walks of life have found solace and strength in the teachings of Stoicism. Using its principles to navigate adversity, overcome challenges and live more fulfilling lives. From business leaders to athletes, artists to activists, People from all walks of life have found inspiration in the timeless wisdom of this ancient philosophy. Consider the story of James Stockdale, a United States Navy Vice Admiral who endured seven years as a prisoner of war in Vietnam. Subjected to torture and psychological manipulation, Stockdale credits Stoicism with providing him the mental fortitude to endure the unimaginable hardships of captivity. In his memoir, In Love and War, Stockdale writes about how he clung to the Stoic principles of focusing on what he could control, his thoughts and actions, and accepting what he could not, the brutal reality of his situation. He found strength in the Stoic belief that virtue is its own reward. Section 10. The Power of Letting Go a Stoic approach to freedom. One of the most liberating aspects of Stoicism is its emphasis on letting go of what we cannot control. We often cling to our desires, our possessions and our ideas about how things should be, creating unnecessary suffering for ourselves in the process. Stoicism teaches us to accept what is, to relinquish our need for control and to find freedom in surrender. This doesn't mean becoming passive or resigning ourselves to a life of mediocrity. Rather, it's about recognizing that true peace comes from accepting the things we cannot change, focusing our energy on what we can control, and approaching life with a sense of equanimity. Imagine yourself holding tightly to a handful of sand. The more tightly you grip, the more sand slips through your fingers. Section 11, Your Journey to Joy. The path to joy, as illuminated by Marcus Aurelius and the principles of Stoicism, is not a destination, but a journey. It's a journey of self-discovery, of cultivating virtue, and of aligning our actions with our highest selves. It's a journey that requires effort, mindfulness, and a willingness to challenge our own beliefs and assumptions. But the rewards are well worth the effort. As we incorporate the principles of Stoicism into our daily lives, we begin to experience a profound shift in our perception of the world and our place within it. We develop a sense of inner peace, resilience and purpose that allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and equanimity. Start 
small. Begin by incorporating one or two stoic practices into your daily routine. Practice mindfulness, cultivate gratitude, perform acts of kindness or spend time in nature. Section 12. Living Joyfully, A Legacy of Wisdom The wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, passed down through the centuries, continues to offer a beacon of hope and guidance for those seeking to live more joyful, meaningful and fulfilling lives. His teachings remind us that true happiness lies not in external circumstances, but in our own thoughts, actions and reactions to the world around us. By embracing the principles of proper human work, acts of kindness, sensory control, truth discernment and nature contemplation, we can cultivate the virtues of wisdom, justice, courage and temperance and in doing so unlock the door to a life filled with joy, purpose and lasting fulfilment. The legacy of Marcus Aurelius is not found in grand monuments or historical conquests, but in the enduring power of his words to inspire, challenge and transform individuals across time and cultures. His teachings offer a timeless roadmap for navigating the complexities of life, finding joy in the present moment and living in accordance with our higher selves. As you embark on your own journey to joy, remember the words of Marcus Aurelius. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Choose wisely, live virtuously and embrace the transformative power of Stoicism to unlock a life filled with purpose, resilience and lasting joy.